another feature of the Indian textile trade was that almost everybody in Europe, whether they were the Dutch, the French, the Portuguese or the English, everybody wanted to trade with the Indian textile industry. In the beginning, as far as the English are concerned, they used to buy the Indian textile by paying in silver. But this was not liked by them because this depleted their treasury. And slowly, when they became the masters of Bengal and got the right of revenue or Diwani in Bengal, that is the time the revenue itself sufficed for the amount that they had to pay for the trade in India. Then we will be talking about the weavers of India, about their stories. Now who are the weavers first of all? The weavers are the people who are specialized in weaving and they are known by different names in different provinces of India. They are called as Tanti in Bengal, they are called as Julahas or Momins in North India, they are called as Khaki Collars and Devangs in South India. But of course, the work is similar for all of them that is weaving cloth. The weaving of cloth actually undergoes two main process and the first process is called as the spinning. The spinning is generally done by the women in India and it is done on the charkha or the takli. And here we see that the basic work is that the thread is spun. The next process involves the weaving. This is done by the men and in this the thread is woven into cloth. So in the first process the women are doing what? They are spinning the thread and the same thread is being woven into cloth by the men in the second process. But sometimes more than this is required. For example, if you have to have a colored cloth, then you need to get the thread dyed. And for dyeing, you go to a dyer who in India is called as the Rangaraj. And if you need a block printer for the in textile, then you need to go to the block printer who in India is called as the Chapaigir. 